What up, Whiskey Ginger fans? Welcome back to the show. It's the first time joining the show. Welcome to the show. We got a good one for you today, like my man Steve Harvey done say. It's Gata. My man Gata, I love him so much. I believe people are trying to sneak him in for a nomination for his performance on Dave. He's so funny, so dope. I love Gata. Uh, one of the greatest people I've ever met in this business. And uh, I can't wait uh, to see what he does next in his career. Gata's the best. Please watch Dave. All of the seasons are available on Hulu. You can go check him out. Uh, he killed it this year so, so hard. Enough rambling from me. Let's go to the episode. In here, we pour whiskey, 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 whiskey. Oh, that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are hell no. This whiskey is Ginger. I like gingers. Ladies and welcome back to Whiskey Ginger. My guest today is one of my favorite people on earth. I say that from, I guess, but I mean it once again today. It is the return of my guy, Gata! Give it up for Gata. Woo! Yeah. Gee, welcome back to the show, Gata. I'm so happy. Uh, I haven't seen you in a minute. It's been a minute, bro. Well, I missed you at the, we had the rap party of Dave. Uh, well, not the rap party, but they did the season finale yeah, uh, season finale show. rap party. And we can talk about it now, actually. You know what's so funny? I'm wearing Brad Pitt's shirt right now. I stole this from Brad Pitt. Oh, wow. I swear to God, because they fit they fit him, and they said uh, him and I were the same size shirt and jeans. So these are his jeans, I think. I think these I stole them, and this is his shirt. So, Brad, come get me. I've talked about it for a couple <laughs> weeks now. I'm wearing his stuff, dude. Hey, that's an amazing story, Who do you bro. think is better looking, Gator, me or Brad Pitt? Be honest. Don't, 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 don't lie just because we're friends. I don't judge me. Thank you very much, Gata. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, for people that don't know, uh, which I'm sure is almost nobody at this point, Gata has turned himself from a rapper, a writer, a producer, uh, a mind-melding magician uh, into one of the most sought-after actors uh, now in Hollywood. I was in Australia shooting. You were in Australia shooting. We couldn't Man. connect because you were in... You were in Sydney, right? Or north of Sydney? Yeah, I was in Sydney. Sydney, yeah. Sydney, I was in uh, Bondi Junction. Bondi. Bondi. Get on ya. Get on ya. Get Did on you ya. like it? Did yeah, you like it? That's it, a good bro. accent, Gator. Yeah. Get on ya. Get on ya, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Gator. Yeah, no, big fan of Gator. He's a good dude. Yeah, that's how they talk, too. Yeah, you liked it the whole time or what? No worries. No worries, mate. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> I was shooting a movie. You were shooting a movie. We didn't get to connect because our paths didn't cross. You were at a different time that I was there. And then I came up to Sydney with my parents and Gator was busy, busy boy shooting. But mm -hmm. I saw you out there. You, Sydney, Sweeney, you guys were at the beach. I saw that just at the beach floating around in the ocean. Yeah, it was dope, man. It was on a yacht. It was, it was pretty dope. Out You're there. on it now, bro. You're yeah, on a yacht? Yeah. yeah, on a yacht filming the scene and stuff. It was pretty Oh, dope. my God. Yeah, did anybody, cool. did you meet any Richie Riches out there that let you go on their yacht after you were filming? Like anybody fancy? It was people out there like that. Like my, uh, one of my cast people on there, one of my cast named Darren Barnett, he's an actor. He has someone out there saying, yo, we got a boat every weekend, come party and shit. But yeah. Every uh, weekend, these yeah. dudes was ready to party. But you were taking work serious, man. I yeah, talked to Hertz, and he to, told man. me you were, you were in it to win it. Dude. Yeah, I was dialing in, man. I'm trying to, you know, show that I can play other roles and be other people than myself. So yeah, I be taking every role serious, man. You're doing it big, man. I'm so happy for you. I'm sure you got a bunch of stuff lined up now too, huh? Uh, well, even though the writers strike, when's the next? Tell me, when's Gator Show coming? When are we sniffing for a Gator show? Man. Come on, bro. We, we, we are sniffing for it, but at the same time, it's like we, we just staying patient right now. Yeah, you got to stay patient. We want to develop and be productive during the strike, but we just staying patient, man, and trying to make sure we stay uh, thoughtful and mindful of what's going on right now. Like, I yeah, don't yeah, yeah. ask nobody, you know. Smart gotta, man. Got to stand with the writers. Okay? That's right, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what you could do, Gator? In the meantime, you can start writing and formulating your own stuff so then when the time comes you can push it out there you oh know, yeah throwing definitely that as a, throwing the I'm ideas ready for down. that man like I got a, a cartoon in production that I'm working on behind the scenes but what about I, your life what's it about yeah me being a ghetto Bart Simpson growing up in LA you know what mm. I'm saying got some ghetto dope, Bart Simpson yeah it's gonna be some dope stuff like that the it's called Ghetto Samsons. Brilliance oh it's called Ghetto yeah, Brilliance yeah, that's why I got yeah bro I got this to celebrate it because I sold it to Fox 20th Century and it's in development I'm trying to work on it right now but yeah I got a that's what that's when Ghetto Brilliance came about. I saw the other chain when I saw you uh, not too long ago. You got the the flying money flying money chain. Oh yeah, every day we letting it go. Everything is a bill, bro. No matter if you're spending money or paying for a bill, 
money's always coming and going, so it's just a symbol of that. I love that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And I got I told I got told to the grapevine. I got to find out all your information through through Hertz because uh, you're too busy. I, but I heard that I heard you got a new house. Congratulations! Oh, thank my you. My dude man. got thank a house. You, my you, dude man. got a crib. Yeah, we was just talking about that. Me and you always talk about big boy shit. Well, like season that. one, I tell you, season one, I remember sitting on a on a lunch table, and you were like, you were like, you got a house, Santino. You got a house. And I was like, yeah, 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 I do. And then you were like, I'm, I'm gonna get me a house. I'm gonna get, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a house. I want to get a house. Man. And I told you what I said. I said you got to be patient. I said don't just grab something just because, because yeah, you don't want to yeah. overpay and get ripped off. And yeah, you're right, man. And you were, and you got a, and then you got a great crib. Hertz told me you found something great. Yeah, it's amazing, man. I, I love it, man. It's spaceful. It's uh, quiet out there. It's pretty cool, man. I just like the fact that I finally uh, pulled the trigger, you know? Yeah, you pulled the trigger. Yeah, it was I, about time. You needed, yeah. you, you you deserve that gate of space. You moved up, I remember you went from the old apartment to that nice, that really nice dope spot, that brand new on Oh yeah, the high rise. Yeah, And then man. I went to the beach. Yeah. Over there, to Rita Del Rey by the boats. Yeah, the, you keep, I'm you kept it moving, but now you're, chilling. now you, now you put some groundwork. Do you got a bunch of people at the house or is it just you? You got a bunch uh, of people no, living in the house? I'll be having yeah. people there sometime, like friends and stuff like that, but for yeah. the most part, it's just me. When are you gonna throw a party, bro? Uh, when Throw I get, a house party, when a house I get, party. That would be dope. Yeah, Shout out on. to us too. We were a house party. Yeah, we were. Yeah, yeah. that was dope. <laughs> we that, were. Hey, had to plug that, bro. I have plug it, plug hey, it, plug it. That was it, our first uh, movie together. It really was. We didn't. We weren't even together. We let's go. We, we did it together. That was our first film, even though we weren't in it together. We were yeah. in it together. Yeah, that's crazy, right? That's right, man. Yeah, that's dope, bro. How many days did you shoot House Party? What did it? Would you do two Honestly, days? One day. One day. Yeah, one yeah. day. It was. Yeah. Uh, that was a great scene, man. Shout out to Lena Waithe. Shout out to DC Young Fly. Send my condolences to him and his family and everybody. I heard about terrible news about DC. Yeah, yeah that's awful. Prayers man. up for DC Young Fly, man. But that's uh, crazy, man. Yeah, and to his uh, girl's family. But yeah, man, the house party was dope. bro. It was dope. Yeah, it was dope. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah. I had a fun time. And when I we went and saw the movie, and I was like, it was all over the place. I was like, this movie, this movie is weird as shit. Another project I liked that you did that we just spoke about was Beef. Beef, 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 bro, beef. Bro, you beef, be working, beef. bro. I'm trying, And I dude. saw you with another Kevin Hart thing on Netflix, too, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, that's, yeah. that was Kevin throwing me a, a bone. That was him being nice to me. Hey, it looked like Hamburg. he had some meat on that bone, It was man. not bad, yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what I'm saying? That was, there was a little bit of meat. There was a little meat on the bone. There was a little bit of meat on the bone. I had a good time. I had a good time. Now, I'm, now me and Bobby are on tour, and so, uh, you know, I don't have any, you know, until the writer strikes over, I, I don't think I'll be doing anything in that world for a while. I'm just going to be touring and touring and touring. And like you told me, um, after the season three last episode party, you had a concert the next night. Yeah, concert the next night. It was sold out. It was at Venice West in Woo! L.A. on Lincoln Boulevard. On Lincoln? I know Venice West. Yeah, packed house, bro. It was tight. I performed all my new songs and... uh I was just preparing myself to just get ready to, like you said, do something else while the strike is going on, so yeah. I could go do concerts and I could record music. And you know, what about could, dropping an album? Yeah, I'm, that's that's in the works too, man. I'm definitely recording songs. I got a studio session right after I leave here. Uh, yeah, with some good people uh, that work for Def Jam. Always working. Yeah, grinding every day, bro. You're I always up, grinding. I live up to the brand, bro. What? Do, okay, so tell me this though, because we've talked about mental health together. We talk about it on our show. You and mm -hmm. I have had personal conversations about it. What about taking a what? When do you take a break for Gata? When do you chill for you? Like, do you are you taking? Are you trying to make space to take days to just hang out and not do anything? And oh yeah, definitely, yeah. man. I definitely be getting my me time, my alone time, where I'm just sitting there watching whoever lose to the Denver Nuggets. I be chilling out, <laughs> take, taking my time. But uh, yeah, man. he's calling I, it now. Are yeah. they? You think they're taking to take it? Yeah, bro, the Joker is no joke, man. He's unbelievable. He's unbelievable. He's like Dirk Nowitzki 5.0. He really is, dude. <laughs> He's cold. He really is. He, he looks has like a machine. Bird, unguardable jump shot, too. Yeah, it's because the ball's way up here. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you can't get that high, and he's falling backwards. Dirk used to do the exact same thing, fall backwards and be way up high. You can never touch him. Can't touch it. So you've been, have you been, uh, have you been like, did they put you on like a workout regimen when you were on the when on the movie? Like, did you have to stay in shape or no, you didn't have to do that? Oh, uh, no, nah, not for that movie, man. Uh, cause I'm I say that because you've always been in shape, man. You've never been well, out of shape. Well, actually, it's kind of funny now. I gained a little bit of weight, man. You know? Thank God. You but, need it. Yeah, for sure, man. Because I want to be healthy. I want to make sure I'm taking care of myself. Actually, uh, trying to get off the vape, too, by the way. Gata, trying to get off we that talked nicotine. about this. I told you. During yeah. the middle of filming, G Gata was ripping through it. I was like, we got to get you off of those, man. Yeah, man, for real. So because I mean, who knows what's in it? I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't, who knows? They say know. rat poison. They say glasses in it. They say all types of Glass? stuff. Glass? Yeah, vegetable oil. Vegetable, vegetable oil. I'm okay, I'm okay with. I feel like that well, one's okay. <laughs> yeah, but in your lungs? 
I guess no. I mean, but it's better than rat poison in glass. Yeah, man. That's, That's what my buddy said. He, we were golfing the other day, and he, you know, he throw a cigarette and you throw it down on the grass while he was hitting because it'll still stay lit. Oh, right, right, and right. And one of the dudes was like, "Don't do that. There's pesticides all in the grass, and you put it back in your mouth. It's really bad for you." And he said, "Dude, I'm smoking a cigarette. I think it's gonna be okay." Oh wow, <laughs> that was a great response. Yeah, yeah like, he was like, "I'm gonna die anyway, dude. Cancer's gonna get me. Pesticides." We'll just add to the mix. Maybe it'll level it out a little bit. But yeah, you got to get off the vape, Gabe. Got to get off the vape, bro. Come I've been on, trying man. to practice a healthy lifestyle. Like this weekend, I'm going to um, Atlanta to be in this um, rap crew league basketball game hosted by Revo. Uh oh. And, uh, Diddy like posted me today and shit. So that was that was great for them to. Diddy promo. gave you some love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Diddy gave me some. Does love. Does he know man. you? Do you know him? Uh, I'm pretty sure he knows of me now. Yeah, but I'm know? saying like you guys have never met. I met him in the club with uh Dicky one time when he handed him some flowers. Dicky handed. Puffy some flowers at the club at uh, Miami at Live. <laughs> Wait on a minute. Sunday. He Explain had a bouquet. It. it was crazy. Like, so we at the club popping bottles, me and Dickie, he got his section. He just takes some flowers from his section and did, just walks up to Diddy's section and heads him like a bouquet of flowers <laughs> to the club. Like, <laughs> that shit was so fucking did funny. Did he like bro. it? He took it. He liked yeah, it. Yeah, Diddy took the flowers. He was like, I say, yeah, it's cool, bro. That's much love. It's just a full circle moment, man, you know, because. Yeah. Diddy supported Dicky early in his career, and now, you know, I'm being a part of something on Revolt, playing a basketball game this weekend. At State Farm Arena, too. I'm what? Playing, playing against Kevin Gates, you know, Nick Cannon and shit, so it's dope. Damn, you're going to yeah. shake Cannon? You think you can break him? I don't know. He's Hopefully. pretty good. I've seen he's pretty good. I don't good. know. He'd be all over the place. He got a lot of kids, so he might know, be active yeah. out that court, man. He, yeah, might be, he might be thinking about his kids while he's guarding yeah. you. <laughs> it's crazy. One of his 36 kids while yeah. he's thinking about that, not the ball. He know how to be at a lot of places at one time. <laughs> yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Dude's got 36 jobs and 36 kids. Yeah, man. He, that must be, see, that must be exhausting, working all those hours, because he's nonstop. He's one of these guys that wakes up. At what time do you wake up in the morning? Honestly, probably like 6, 6.30. Every day? Yeah, give or you take. You never sleep in. Yeah, give or take, man. Because naturally, you know, my mom, you know, she always woke up and got up early. And when I was younger, my mom used to say, if I'm up, you up. If I'm getting to it, you getting to it. Mm, I don't fact. care if you got to be up. If you ain't ready for school yet, you better get up. I'm getting up, so you can't stay in the bed. So, you know, my mom's older and stuff. She's 72, like in her older, late 70s. So when she get up and just been having that mentality for a long time, it just naturally make me want to get up. Bro, you get up at six every day. Yeah, what if you go to bed at one in the morning? You still getting up at six or you sleep in? Uh, I probably sleep in, yeah, yeah. A yeah, little bit. A little bit. Probably like eight, nine, ten. Cause I'm the type, I don't like to be in bed all morning. Cause I start feeling lame. You know, I start feeling like Yeah, you're bored. Yeah, I'm bored. I could be being productive, you know, and then I don't like the day getting by me. I feel gay. To, I want to have advantage of the day. Gay to the hustler. You but you, you might be the most <laughs> Dedicated hustler I've ever met in my nah, life. That's, you. You, know, that's you bro. No, you're never lazy, man. Bro, I've never on. seen you, you lazy. Ain't either. You got the podcast. You got the stand I know, but up. I'm falling apart. You got the TV show. You got the movies. I mean, held bro. together by Elmer's glue. I'm barely yeah. here right now. I'm, I'm mentally, my brain is. You know what it is though? Like I said, you got to take mental health breaks for yourself. Like I'm. Right, right, right. I, I like, made sure yeah. at the end of the tour. Now, we 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 jump. Uh, we jumped the tour, which we had to like move some stuff around mm -hmm. and I'm going to go to Hawaii and take a minute to just chill out. Yeah, you got to just take a time. Me and my to lady. Reset. Well, because it's just, at you some deserve point, it though, bro. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it, it's more that like you, you need some kind of vacation because in our business, in our industry, you never take a vacation. There is no like, Hey, it's, you know, the kids are out of school. It's summer vacation right. for us. It's like, right. you go, 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 go until you don't go. And then there's no time frame for our kind of work people to, to just take a break. So you have to just make it, you have to do it, say, I'm going to do it, stick to it, you yeah, know? Yeah, Dave going on vacation. He going to Italy. This oh, summer. he is? Yeah, this summer with his girl. Italy. He deserved that, man. That's tight, man. You think he's going to put a ring on it soon? Who knows, man? You know, I if anybody I, knows. Yeah, for sure. You're right. But I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't be surprised, man. You know, Me neither. That's what it's about. He's always wanted to be in love and now that he's in love, you know, so it's a beautiful thing. It is funny, the art imitating life, you know? The yeah, whole show crazy, was, was this bro. season was called Looking for Love and then he found love yeah. literally right before we started the show. Yeah, amazing, bro. Yeah, I'm so happy for him because I always known him to not have a girl, so to see him with a girl is just a beautiful thing. It is. It is. Dude, it is. And, you know, it's for some people, it works. some people being in a relationship work, some people, you know, don't really that they don't need that or want right, that right. to you know to settle down and all that stuff but he wanted it yeah you man. could tell he really did want it hell yeah you know? he definitely wanted it bro. give me some give me some stories from australia you got anything fun that happened down there i want to know yeah, what was happening my first night out bro i went out with one of my cast members uh alexandra ship she's in a new barbie movie yep but uh we went out uh her sam and uh 
who was us with her? I think it was Glenn Powell with us too. Mm -hmm. But we went to a Korean barbecue spot and the table almost caught on fire. It was crazy. Like, what? Not the regular, like the smoke just come up and they come put the water on. I'm talking about it was giant flames up to the ceiling. It was crazy. They had to really come and get the warm water. Was it water, a new chef? It. I don't know what it was. No, it, no, no, no. It wasn't a new chef. We was cooking it ourselves. Oh, it's Korean barbecue. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, yeah. no, it's Japanese, oh, Japanese barbecue. Oh, Japanese barbecue. Sorry, Japan. Sorry, Japan. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Japan. Sorry, Japan. Sorry, Japan. Yeah. No, the one where you where it's boiling water and you dunk it in. You dunk the meat and the vegetables in, right? That's what no, you're talking about? No, not that one. Oh, the, the fire one. Yeah, the grill. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skillet and all that. Who fucked it up? Who put it on that caught it on fire? I think it was me. Glenn Powell. Say it was Glenn Powell. Yeah, he, Glenn. Kind, of, he kind of was not understanding the concept of uh, the steak getting cooked well done at a cabin one day. It was so funny. We had to keep telling him, man, put it back on there longer, man. Like, hey, bro, I like my shit well done. He like, man, I'm from Texas where we, uh, Kill a cow and it just says boo and then we uh grill it. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, that's so funny, bro. That shit was. He's funny, like, where man. I come from, boy, we just eat a cow. We'll take a bite out of a cow as it wanders. Yeah, he, he, dude, Glenn Powell, you a great dude too. He's funny, man. He is, huh? Yeah, is the movie funny. fun? Was yeah, it the funny? Movie fun. It's a rom com. Yeah. It's untitled. Shout out to director Will Gluck. But it's me, Sydney, and uh, Glenn in there. A few other people: Michelle Hurd, Dare Maroney. He's one of my favorite old OG actors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's tight, man. But. It was a great experience working out there, you know, just being around the actors. And it's just like how even when I was first talking to you, I was just always asking you, like, man, how's it going to be, bro? Like, what's going on? what I tell you? Yeah. It's we, everything that you said it was going to be, bro. I said, I said, you just got to keep keep working on it, keep grinding, figuring it out. I said, we're going to do it together. We'll figure it out together. If the, man, if the ship real. sinks, we'll be on it together. Man, I appreciate it. Didn't that, sink, man. man. We could, you did you did phenomenal. And I hope if Dave does get another season, you know, who knows? We never know about any yeah, of that that's stuff. that's the cold part about it, bro. If it but, does, I, I, can't, I can't wait to come back and see because everybody's kind of grown in their own way from the show. Yeah, for you sure. Know? It's kind of weird to see everyone's kind of like doing the their own thing. The season was amazing, bro. Yeah, you it guys did a great job. I mean, honestly, you I, I think you probably had the strongest season I've seen out of any of the cast members, uh, this season particularly for you, I think was one of the best ones I've seen you do. Man, that's good. Yeah, it that's was, good. man. It was phenomenal. People people love Gaeta, man. There's something about, you got that thing. Whatever the thing is, you got the thing. And I said that when I first met you too. I said, this motherfucker. I said, he is so funny, man. And Dave was like, right. I said, he's funny. And, it, and he's just being chill. And you were making me laugh, dude. And even You know what's so funny? Also, the first day, uh, we filmed this season. We filmed at a place called Plaza mm. that was like a nightclub. It's like a nightclub on La Brea and it was right next to Pink's Hot Dogs. Oh, yeah, you I remember, remember that. that. You went over there and got hot dogs. Yeah, that shit. And I was like, this dude is never-endingly beautiful, man, because I haven't had a Pink's Hot Dogs in, in years and you, and you had to have a Pink's Hot Dog. You were like, I'm, I gotta go get a Pink's Hot Dog, man. man. I, don't, I haven't been there in so long and I was like, maybe I'll have a fucking Pink's Hot Dogs all because of Gata. The influence of the big G. Yeah, man. So, what, so what, circle what, too. what's uh what's next for you right now though? Like now are you taking time to do nothing or are you working secretly? Oh, I'm on definitely something? working on projects behind the scenes, you know, yeah. just uh with me, small private crew uh crew. I'm uh, trying to put together a book deal right now. I got a book agent. You gonna write a book? Uh I'm trying to I'm working on some things, man. You know what are we talking? Working on some things. What are we talking about? What would it be about? What's uh, the book? It'd probably just be a memoir about my life, you know. A memoir of the Gator's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, if I could put together a movie, I'd definitely be doing that, too. And I'm yeah. taking on a bunch of roles, like, right now. It's just crazy. I got an offer to go shoot in the U.K., a movie, because, you know, they're not striking over there in the U.K. Oh, uh, right, right. Yeah, it's crazy. We ought to go over there, <laughs> jolly old chap. <laughs> yeah, man. Load up the jet, chap. There we go, man. So, so I'm you, just trying so to stay So you got working. an offer to do a movie over there? Are you going to do it? Uh, yeah, I'm waiting to see right now. Let's see how that goes. You if know the, how I go. The, if the bag is right. Yeah, 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 I get it. All that type of stuff. But for the we most we got the part, same agent, by the way. I yeah, 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 I need yeah. to check in with him and look. Yeah, man. Ask got him. John Sachs. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, shout out John Sachs, man. Appreciate you, <laughs> brother. We, we love him. Yeah, man. I'm about to go see him in like 24 hours. I'm going. Just to... keep sending shit, man. Please. <laughs> yeah, that's right, John. <laughs> Don't stop doing your job, John. <laughs> Send us some more stuff. Yeah. So out, out of all the offers that you've gotten, um. Have you turned down a bunch? Have you said no? Have you been saying no? Or are you saying yes to everything? Uh, right now, I've been more of a yes man. A yes man. That's a yeah, good place sure. to be. Because you know why? I want to be easy to work with. You know, like Santino, or Brad Pitt, Bobby Lee. I want to be one of those type of people that got longevity in this game. And you don't get that by saying no. You got to be able to say, you know what? Fuck it. If I'm getting $800 in a cup of coffee, put some tape on the floor and I'm there. Let's it's just, go. It's just about the... 
you know, the opportunity to, and just keep working. That's what I just care about. Yeah. It don't always be about the money. It's about the opportunity because you never know where it could lead you to, you know, so. Could lead you to more money. That's what I'm saying. Could lead you man. to money now on the road. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's right. So I'm just appreciative of every moment and chance I get, bro. <laughs> uh, I, I, I love you, Gator. And also, by the way, you named me, Brad Pitt, and Bobby Lee. One of these people uh, does not uh, work hard. Who, Lee? <laughs> Bobby Lee, I did a movie with him, man. I know you Call did. Call Sweet Dreams. I love you, Bobby Lee. I like what you told me. You said, Gator, it's not about being the biggest or baddest. It's just about working, man. Just just work. Is that what the advice Bobby Lee gave yeah, you? Yeah, he's dude. He said he'd been doing this for a long time. I said, man, I said, bro, I'm trying to be doing this for a long time. He said, that's what it's about, Gator. He said, when I was younger, I used to want to be this, that, the hottest guy and all that. But then I just said, you know what? I'm thankful to just have a job. It works. So he when, should he, be. When, he, when he put when he put it in that perspective, I said, damn, I see how you last a long time. Are right? you still just going and going? He just won't leave. <laughs> he just won't Don't leave. leave, Bobby Lee. Don't we leave. love you, bro. He's like herpes. He keeps coming back <laughs> somehow. I don't know where he came from, but somehow he keeps coming back. Over. How old do you think Bobby is, by the way? Well, Tim? I know his real age, but oh, you know, you do? in my, in my, in my uh, bracket, in my, the way I'm thinking, uh, man, Bobby Lee's ageless, bro. He is. He's yeah. kind of a little timeless nugget, huh? Yeah, he's ageless, bro. He's timeless. He's like one of those personalities that's going to be around forever because you always need somebody like that. Somebody that walked the thin line that's on the edge. Yeah, he is. Say whatever, you know? Like, you need those type of people around you, man. He, you really do. Well, For he real. just We want him to keep brushing his teeth because otherwise, when, if you lose all your teeth, he might die. He's lost more than half of his mouth. And on tour, I see the way he eats and doesn't brush, and I get concerned. It's all good. There's a dentist for that. Encino Dental <laughs> Smile. I got a nice fake smile, Bobby Lee. If Let you me see. Go top... Click those. There it is. If you want to go tap in with my dentist, man, it's all good. <laughs> but you didn't have bad teeth when you took your teeth out. You just no, wanted them. No, I didn't, them. but I... Because your teeth you... were nice. No, I, no, I did. I, I did kind of, but I had a, a missing tooth, bro. You had like one it, missing tooth? Yeah, one missing tooth. That was I never a, noticed that it. Was, yeah, it was towards the front, you know, because you learn how to adjust your bite and all that. But then I start realizing, like, man, fuck it, man. I, I just come brand new. Fuck it. <laughs> brand new? Brand new? Brand Get the new. new ones. Fuck it. So that when they put those in, did they shave down your teeth? Definitely. I got my shit shaved down. I love I love talking about veneers, man, because I'll be seeing people veneers, and then I'll be like, okay, I understand why yours look like that and why mine look like this. And it's just a whole nother world, bro. But at the end of the day, Love yourself. It don't matter if you got veneers or if you got no teeth in your mouth. You got to get ugly, and ugly stands for you got to love yourself. So no matter how you come and just come. No matter how you come, just come. <laughs> Kata, the best quote, no matter how you come, just come. I don't hey, know I think I, that might be the, that from Pornhub. That might be yeah. the greatest quote of all time. <laughs> no matter how you come, just come. If a girl said that, no matter how you come, just come, all right? Wrap this up and get it over with immediately. I gotta go. <laughs> okay. Uh, no matter how you come, just oh come. Oh my God. But bro. it's true. No, nah, for real. That I wasn't even thinking that way. But <laughs> no, neither was I, man. It just floated through a double, floated through the sky. That's a double beating. No matter how you come, just come, Gator. <laughs> that's like some shit you tell your bitch when you're tired of having sex. You just. No matter how you come, just come. Yeah. I gotta stop. <laughs> I have a meeting in an hour. We gotta go. Okay. <laughs> 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 Gator, this oh, season, who was, who was your favorite per person that you worked with, uh, celebrity pop-in wise? I'm um, gonna have to say uh, Rick Ross. Yeah, he was he full was circle, great. man. I was a fan of him for a long time. Still a huge fan, man. I love everything that he do. His hustle, mentality, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. So it was dope. Ross, the boss, and he came through in, in a clutch. I mean, for people that don't know, some inside baseball for fans. We actually, it wasn't supposed to be Rick Ross. Right. I don't know if we have any right to talk about who it was because it was other other stuff going on, but mm -hmm. Rick Ross wasn't supposed to be in that episode, but uh, was such a great dude. Right. Last minute got the phone call. Yeah, crazy. And was like, I'll be there. And did and did a huge solid for the show when... It was too easy. That's yeah. what he kept saying the whole day. Too it's easy. It's too easy. <laughs> you, could tell, you could tell someone like Rick Ross uh, has that mentality that we were talking about before that's like, yeah, we'll do it. We'll make it happen and we'll make it work and it'll be good because his confidence level was through the roof. He came in hot, did a great job. Then we shot the next day at the strip club, did a, did a great job. It was like- Phenomenal, bro. It was, it was flawless. Yeah. Because, you know, we've had guests, I'm not going to say, but we've had people to come hours late with a crew of people, you oh, know. yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had that happen, nah, right? you're right. And it's weird where you're like, Come on, man. We're every there's you know there's 150 people here trying to do one job together. Exactly. And with Ross, when we shot at the house with Usher, I was blown away, man. They were they 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 he last minute showed up. They were there early. 
They knocked that scene out. It was too wild easy. to watch. Yeah, it was too easy. Too you easy. You just tell they was just, bro, they been stars. They've been famous before we even thought about doing what we do. So it's just like, it just comes so natural to them, you know? It does. Yeah, it's just it so does. natural, bro. They been they used to having set life. So set life. Yeah. Get at do you do you feel like you're getting recognized a lot more than ever? Are people oh, help, yeah, people, definitely, people yelling man. at you in the streets? Hell yeah. I live in the boondocks now, far out in the suburbs, and I thought I was gonna be going to where it's not like People will recognize me and people still recognize me and shit. So out in the boonies. Yeah, it's pretty dope, man. Like I just love the fact that uh people acknowledge me for the, the time that I put in, bro. So that's all I Oh, I you put in at. good work. Hell you yeah. You put in good work. Are people asking for like pictures and autographs or they just say Gator, what's up? Uh for the most part it's just Gator, what's up. Gator, but what's when up? people see me though, like if they get a chance to be up on me and close, they ask for a picture. Mm -hmm. Like if I'm at the grocery store or some shit like that, but I just embrace it, man. I, I like the the love that I get, bro. It's pretty cool, man. Getty, you got to tell me the truth. Are the women throwing them? Are the women all over the place? Oh yeah, they definitely are, man. They, they all <laughs> over the place, man. They on the flow. Yeah. They everywhere, bro. Everywhere, bro. Get it, get it, get it. You got to swat them away. Yeah, I got to swat them you away. Keep them at a distance. Yeah, but I be so focused and so locked in on the dream. Like I know that women and girls come with the entertainment and the money and fame and shit, but. I just be more so like, yo, I just want to accomplish these goals, you know, because they always going to be there. You know, look at Al Pacino. He's pregnant with a 29-year-old, yeah. a 30-year-old right now. You know, they always going to be there. Look at Al Pacino. <laughs> I'm going to say that for everything. When someone's like, is everything okay? I'm like, look at Al Pacino. <laughs> guy's, got, guy's got a kid. He's, <laughs> yeah, like, how old is he? How old is Al Pacino? That's what I'm saying. He ain't making me, which there's hope for us, bro. What is he, 70-something? 80-something? 80 81, 80? 80? 80? Yeah, 81. Al Pacino. 83. 83. Oh, there we go. Fat check. God. 83. And he's yeah. got a brand new baby. Yeah, Born in 1940. That is insane. <laughs> insane. 1940, and he's having a kid shortly. Like, yeah, that's crazy. man. That's wild. You ever want to have a little one, Gata? What do I you think? I definitely do, man, because I definitely want to, you know, keep my legacy going. I know it's probably like only a certain amount of people in my family that I actually know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. I, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I think it'd be dope if I had a son or a daughter to keep my shit going. To move it along. Yeah, to move it along. But that's the only thing I ever be thinking about, you know, is just if I do have a kid, I'll be leaving something behind, you know, and then that's it. That's the only thing I'll be worried about. But other than that, I'm not in a rush to have no kid. You no. Know, Al Pacino. Uh, look at Al Pacino. <laughs> <laughs> just look at Al Pacino. Yeah. That is kind of wild to think, man. Crazy I mean, that's, wild, bro. But, but think about it like that. He's 83. You know, his kid... 10 years old, he'll be 93. I mean, I'm saying, the kid might not even make it to junior high before he says bye to dad. You know, yeah, know, that's you know. what I'm saying. That's that wild. Is, that is wild. See, I think, the, best, I think the, the funniest thing would be to have a kid like a year before you're going to go. Have a kid at like 89, right? 90. And then he celebrates his first birthday. And then you're out. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's fucking nuts. Dude. It's crazy to want to have a kid that that's old. That's why I got to get together. Do you think that was an accident? <laughs> Probably. Who knows? Yeah, it had to be. <laughs> you didn't plan that. There's no yeah. way. But also, can you imagine you're eating cereal, you're 83 years old, you wake up, you're in your robe, <laughs> your girl comes down and she's like, baby, I'm pregnant. And you're like, what? Oh, how? How? She's like, it's, it's got to be, it's got to be you. We've been, you know, we've been sleeping together. It's like, they still work. Yeah, that's <laughs> you know, crazy. They still work. They're still swimming. Swimming yeah, that, slower. That's insane, bro. Maybe they got floaties on, but, but they're still swimming. Wanna, yeah, he made me want to get to to Boston. Get to Boston. Yeah, he's eighty three. I gotta have a kid, bro. I I want you to have. I want you to have a kid. I hope you let me be Uncle Santino. We'll be able to come through. That would Uncle be Tino, I'll watch your kid for you. Man, that would be dope, bro. You trust me to babysit? Yeah, I need a white uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever have a white uncle? Do you, you, you have any white siblings growing up? Nah, man. No. But you my brother. I am your brother. I am your brother. Were there any white dudes that lived in the hood near you at all? Uh, Nah, not near There wasn't even hood. one white dude yeah, down there? Hell, nah. Not allowed. The closest white dude I have was a Latino. <laughs> <laughs> the closest white dude was a Latino. That is, man. It was yeah. Just a couple shades away, I guess. Yeah, for real, bro. That's true. Yeah. He, was, he was my best friend. I had two of them, Oscar and my boy Michael Rosales. Yeah. Rosales. Yeah. What about what about in high school? No white dudes at your high school? Oh, yeah, for sure. Westchester High School. Oh, Westchester, uh, yeah, right. that was my first high school, so I went to one of the top basketball schools out here, Westchester High School. 
grade school. It's on Manchester. Mm -hmm. And after that, I went to Crenshaw, where it was no white people. Yeah, none. There was no white people at Crenshaw. What about teachers? Were any of the teachers white? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some white teachers. You got to be real boss to be a white teacher in Crenshaw, huh? Yeah, for sure. You got to go through the metal detector and the whole die. Right. And, <laughs> and putting up with all the shit. You got to yeah, be, they, you know they the shit, shit on you. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, were you, like, like, <laughs> When you guys would have like a white substitute or something like that, would everybody just dog on them right in front no, of them? No, actually, to be honest with you, man, we would like be cool with the white teachers and stuff because it's like you don't see them every day, you know? And it's just like <laughs> you kind of like you appreciate it. It was like a full moon. Yeah, it was kind of like you appreciate being taught by a white person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it was pretty cool, man. Like, thank you, white guy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And his jetpack. <laughs> Later, kids. Man, it made you feel good too. It's like you was in a real college or something. Right, right. Was, yeah. Well, now, you know, because my lady works closely with the education system. And That's I hear dope, now, man. especially in, you know, in South Central LA, they're trying to reform a lot of what's going on in the public schools. And now the a lot of the schools are, the kids get like iPads and shit, which I yeah, think is, that's, that's crazy amazing, to me. Man. That's amazing. I mean, it's Government brilliant. funding, bro, so. Give me the iPad, baby. Yeah, I want an dope. iPad. I might yeah. enroll in school again just to get they an iPad. They didn't have shit like that when I was in school. No, what the fuck? Yeah. We had a computer class where we had to learn how to type. We had typing class. And in typing class, I'll never forget, they had a, a, a typewriter that the teacher would say, uh, if you want to learn it, I can, I can show you the typewriter because it's the same keys, but he's like, if you want to learn how to actually like go back and yeah. edit on a typewriter. And a few kids wanted to do it because they taught us on the old, those old Dell computers with like the big nasty, heavy keys with yeah, shit I would remember. get caught in them, you know? Yeah, I remember that. And we had typing class, but There's it was always a key missing. Oh yeah. Some would spill, you know, Coke on it. It's like two keys are sticky. And so you push down a T and be like, yeah, I remember those, dude. And in, in our class, I don't think, I don't remember everybody having a computer. I think it was like you had a partner or two or there right. was a group, mm -hmm. but now they're all getting iPads. Yeah, they are. For real. They got like, the schools is so much better now, man. They are better now. But these for days, sure. it's like you don't even need school. Kids are all on TikTok learning everything, life hacks and all. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, TikTok. That's where I learn all my shit is on TikTok. <laughs> uh, like, I learned that. Uh, that song that I love so much that give me one margarita. You know that song? No, I ain't heard that yet. You don't know this song? Oh, no, no, I gotta hear this shit. I gotta play this for you. This will make you laugh. This girl, uh, she did a um she did a remix of this beat. And uh here you have to hear this is the one margarita song. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna put it in my tush. Oh my god. I'm gonna get some fun. Give me five margaritas. I'm gonna put it in your bush. <laughs> <laughs> she was great, dude. I, I got so I, funny, bro. Look up who did that song. The give me, give me. Sound like Meg Thee Stallion. <laughs> no, no, I know. She's a podcast host. Her name is uh, Give Me Five. Give me one margarita. I don't know. I don't remember her name. But she was so good. I, it's so funny, man. It's like that. Yeah. The angel, the truth angel, or something like that. The angel, the something angel is her name on the thing. Give me oh, one margarita. That chick, that chick angel, maybe yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, shout out to that chick angel. Give me one margarita. I love that shit. Yeah, man, she might get that Bud Light, you know, that, li that <laughs> library. That Bud Light contract. That library. That's right. <laughs> after they took it away, they, after they lost $4 billion, they might need the one margarita. Yeah, she, she might to be able to bring it back. it back, bro. Isn't that so funny? People are all mad about uh, that Dylan on the can. Oh, yeah. They put the one margarita girl. They might be back. She might give They'll be back. Bud Light, are you listening, Anheuser Busch? You wanna you wanna bring back your brand? Grab that chick angel. Let her do the one margarita limerita on that Bud Light limerita. Give me one limerita. I'ma <laughs> give you some head. <laughs> In here. We pour whiskey, whiskey. This episode of Whiskey Ginger is brought to you by BetterHelp. Hey, you guys, I've talked pretty openly on this show about mental health, mental health awareness, and talking to somebody. Uh, I am a firm believer in it. Um, myself, uh, I have been doing it for a very long time. And I know it's difficult for people to even get involved or get started in something like this because they feel vulnerable, which is totally okay. Uh, the best part about BetterHelp is that it's done from the comfort of your own home. You do not have to go to some weird office. You do not have to find parking, which is so annoying. Um, and you're not sitting under bright lights, uh, reading a highlights magazine, waiting for your appointment with five other people who are staring at the ground because it's uncomfortable and strange. Uh, BetterHelp uh, does it in such a great way where, you know, you schedule from your house. Um, it's entirely done online. 
and it, it, it gives you the power to help yourself because you're probably helping out everybody else around you not focusing on your own needs. So listen, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely done on the internet, like I said. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist. You can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. And that's the best part. You do it from home, you get a licensed therapist, and if you're not comfortable, just try another one. You could try as many until it works for you, from your house, from your office, from your commute, whatever makes you feel comfortable, give BetterHelp a try. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash whiskey today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, better H-E-L-P dot com slash whiskey. Hey, you got help is important, okay? It really is. That's why I love seed. I've talked about seed many, many times before. Uh, if you're not moving consistently, if you're not moving, shaking, and pushing out what's inside of you consistently, not so good, all right? Uh, you need seeds DSO-1 daily symbiotic. Two capsules a day can help promote healthy regularity, keeps the body happy. Move it out. Everyone poops, dude. Why not poop reg- regularly, you know? And seeds DSO-1 supports whole body benefits beyond the gut. Uh, the, the, the DSO-1, people want to know what is it, uh, that's a daily symbiotic. It's an effective way to start supporting your gut microbiome. Ultimately impacts your skin, your heart, and, and uh, various other connections within the body. It's a 24-strain broad-spectrum probiotic and prebiotic formulated for digestive gut immune and additional systemic benefits. 53.6 billion AFU. All right, capsule and capsule protects against stomach acid, digestion enzymes, and bile salts for viability through digestion. What does this mean? The live probiotics will actually make it to the end of the small intestine for delivery to the colon so you can smooth move it out. All right? Everyone does it. My, why not take Seeds DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic uh, to promote healthy gut, healthy skin, healthy heart, healthy, happy you, all right? Uh, have you ever had smooth, soft sausage? No? Ta- not talking about the food. Talking about the perfect type of poop. Thanks to Seed. You want to poop perfect? You want to poop nice and smooth seeds? DSO-1 is going to help you get there. Start a new healthy habit today. Visit seed.com slash whiskey. Use the code whiskey to redeem 30% off your first month of Seed's DSO-1 Daily Symbiotic. That's seed.com slash whiskey and use that code whiskey. Hey, have you ever searched your name on a search engine? It's a little scary. It's unfortunate how much stuff pops up about you, your name, your email, home address, phone numbers. It can all be found online. And uh, this is one of those things in this day and age that we all need protection from. Your personal info is out there for anybody to find, you know? Uh, Public tax records that sell information legally, making it accessible to pretty much anybody. 2022 alone, there were over 1,800 data breaches that exposed personal information for over 422 million individuals, man. Cyber crimes are all over the place, and that's why Aura is here. It's an all-in-one online safety solution that helps protect you and your family from identity theft, financial fraud, and online threats before they happen. You can rest easy knowing that someone is looking out for you. If you've been a victim of ID theft, their experienced white glove fraud resolution team is going to help you navigate credit bureaus, help you initiate credit freezes uh, or locks and work with you around the clock to resolve it. It's a pain. I know it. We've had family of mine that have suffered through this. It is not easy. It stinks. So Aura is here to help you reduce annoying robocalls, telemarketers, and junk mail by sending takedown requests on your behalf. And they also can make sure that you are protected online uh, they have real-time alerts on suspicious credit activity, computer virus protection, parental controls, VPN, and a password manager. They do it all to keep you healthy, happy, and safe on the internet. For a limited time, Aura is offering our listeners 14-day trial plus a check of your data to see if your personal information has been leaked online. All for free when you visit Aura.com slash whiskey. That's Aura, A-U-R-A dot com slash whiskey to sign up for a 14-day free trial and start protecting you and your loved ones. That's Aura.com slash whiskey. Certain terms apply. Be sure to check out the site for details. Ginger. I like gingers. He says, give me one, give me one Lamarita. I'm going to open my legs. Give me two <laughs> Lamaritas. That, Dude, that is really good. as fuck, bro. Lamaritas, Lamarita. Are you drinking lately or are you staying, you staying clean? Uh, I've been drinking. I've been drinking Hennessy and Coke here and there. I you have? Lie, yeah. I love that about yeah, you, Yeah, I like yeah, the, drinking Henny beers. And Coke. I've been on Modelo's, Coronas. Yeah, oh yeah? Little yeah, Mexican man. beers? Yeah, I've been drinking those. I've been barbecuing a lot too lately. Now that you got the crib, are you feeling like like a dad, like a, like a man? Like I got my house, I got a barbecue. I got oh, yeah, to do all the dad man. stuff at the crib. Yeah, I'm, I'm always feeling like a dad. You know, my girl, she got a kid, so I kind of be, you know, playing a stepdad, father figure role. I'm supposed to be speaking at a school tomorrow. So, yeah, I definitely. You're going to speak at the school? I definitely feel like a dad. Okay, uh, yeah. You know, you made, me, you made me smile and made me happy. We were in the backseat of the car. And uh, I don't know if we were filming or we were going to film. And her, you know, your, your, your girl's boy FaceTimed and, uh, 
you know, was saying what's up, and then he said he wanted to get braids just like you. And oh, he, yeah, like, he got him now. He did? Yeah, he got oh, the locks. Oh, man. man, I thought that was so great. It made my heart warm. He, yeah. He's like, just want to get him like you. And yeah, I was got like, the locks yeah, now, man. That's great, right, man. Yeah. See how influential you are, man. Yeah, got to give back, bro. You know, I was one of those kids, too, that was in need. You know, I never knew my real mom or real dad. So anybody that was a male figure in my life and it was positive and uh, I looked up to him, I really gravitated towards them. Yeah. So, you know, I'm just doing the same role, you know. You're but, that to that kid. Think about that. That's kind of wild. Down, in the, down the road, you know, he's going to be like, this This guy it, was good to me. You yeah, know what that's, I mean? that's amazing. This guy yeah. that doesn't... You know, same thing. I had a, you know, I, my, I had a stepfather because mm -hmm. my father wasn't there, so it was kind of right. like that guy didn't have to be. He didn't have to be a dad to me. Right. He could. He he could have just been like, "You're not my sh kid. I don't give a shit about you." Yeah, exactly. Bro. I mean, that's cold, but I think that does happen a lot. You yeah, know? it definitely does happen a lot. You know. But he. But it, but we. What we respect, we appreciate, we we really hold on to the people that treated us right when we're young in our formidable years. So what you're doing is, I've told I told you that before, man. I'm happy for you, and I think that's a you're a good man for that because. You don't know how much that kid needs that. We, you'll never know. You know what I mean? You'll never yeah, know. Yeah, for sure. Even when he's older and he tells you that, it'll, you, you can't imagine the effect that we have No, I know the on powerful kids. effect because, you know, when I used to go to my sports games when I was younger and it'd be my mom and sister cheering me on, and I look at the other people's families, the other kids' families, they got their dad out there. So mm. I know how I feel, man. That's why I'm yeah. just trying to be a positive influence. That's what I'm saying. One day at a time. One day at a time, baby. If you, no matter how you come, just come. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so this basketball tournament you go to, is it for charity? Is that what it's for? Uh, no, nah, it's actually for a prize win of 250000 and you split it up with your teammates, and you Gator. get probably 30000 a piece. But that's not why I'm going, though. I'm going, you know, because I want to do it for the culture. You know, I want. But it would be nice. Yeah, it would be nice, man. But It would be nice yeah. to catch. I'm definitely going to be playing for that, though. Like, I recruited some uh, European players that play overseas and what? some high school players they got playing on my team. And so you're allowed to bring ringers. You can bring some ringers. Yeah, like somebody has uh, Nick Young, Swaggy P, a couple years ago on their team. Oh, no, nah, I was going to say now or a couple oh, years nah, ago? Oh, no, 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 man. I wish I could get Atlanta Hawks players since we're going to be out there. I'm really trying to win. You that. want me to call J.R. Smith? I know call J. R. Smith. him, bro. You want me to I'm call really him? trying to win that bread, man. It's time to pull up, bro. I should call J.R. and be yeah. like, bro, go. I just met him not too long ago. He would go. He'd probably yeah, play. He can golf. You know, I play golf with him. Oh, He's, yeah. He got a special while I see him golf it in. He's good, dude. Yeah. Well, he went back to college and he played He got something college. on Netflix or Prime or something. Yeah, one of the streaming services. Yeah, that's Who knows dope, anymore? Man. Yeah, so much out there, bro. Is your movie that you shot in Australia, is that going to be streaming or is it going to be in the theaters? Oh, that's going to theaters. And then I got to fly back out there for the premiere and Gator. shit. Yeah, it's crazy, bro. Aren't you so excited being the theater in the big theater, man? That's yeah, so I love wild. it, bro. It's the best feeling, man. The residuals come so fast when they hit that box office, bro. <laughs> it's way faster than... Come on, know. come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the money. <laughs> like, I swear I went to go see a movie that I was in called On The Come Up, and then it's like, damn, two weeks later, I got to check for the movie. I'm like, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. And you go back down to promote the movie. Yeah, and I'll show you. You go down, are you gonna are you gonna just gonna stay down in Sydney or are you gonna try to go around somewhere? I'm probably gonna go around, man. I want to go to Melbourne, you know, uh, Brisbane. You didn't go to Melbourne, right? Nah, 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 nah. My man, when yeah, you I go, I was out there rocking out. I've been before though. Yeah, but I just didn't get to go because I was, you know, working and shit. When bro. you go this time, you have to hit me up, you know, because I was there for two months. Yeah, two and you and got months. all the spots. I, I, you, I got so many great spots to send you to. Man, we gotta get places at it, bro. that you'll love, man. Cookie, her, all these great little restaurants. It's 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 great because it's like different kinds of food because yeah. it's all Asian fusion because right, it's right, right. people from Japan and from Thailand, the yeah, Philippines. I love the Asian food getting... out there. Oh, my Every God. Every night I was going in on that, man. It was so good, right? But that Aussie beef is crazy, though. They McDonald's is wild. I was eating that shit faithfully, bro. <laughs> really? Yeah, I never got... had McDonald's when I was down there. Yeah. Was it good? It was good, bro. Not was, as good as ours or I, better than ours? Not as good as ours, but it was good. You well, know? What, it, what was different on the menu that, we, that they... They had? got a double Big Mac, a double fish filet. Double Big Mac? Yeah, double Big Mac. <laughs> so double double patty, double patty? Yeah, double patty, double patty. <laughs> and on the fish fillet, too. It was crazy. But not double bread. They didn't need double bread, double bread. Nah, no that'd double bread. Crazy. That'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. But they had the double a patties. Double Big Mac. A and they say Big we're Mac. the fat ones. America's supposed to be the fat country, but we're, yeah. they got the double Big Mac. I think they do that because they Aussie beef is like got less fat than our meat. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, what's so funny. You see, when you go down to Australia, I saw almost nobody out of shape. Oh you, hell no! You don't see anybody it's out of shape. It's a big workout city. Yeah, you, I, I saw nobody out of shape. It was they, crazy. They always working out out there. Man. And if you did see somebody fat and out of shape, it was an American on t just a tourist for sure, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah, for you real. right as well. You saw him. You're like that guy's from Mississippi. Everybody out there looked like they worked out. Yeah, or a lot like of people just people. lived on the beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could it you? Was, 
Yeah. Could you could you move to a place like that? Yeah, I definitely could, bro. I ain't even gonna lie, man. You know, R.I.P. Tina Turner, but I could see myself living in Switzerland next to the Rolex store. Woo! You know, in a nice penthouse. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sipping, saying hello to people, sipping your tea on yeah, a balcony. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, man. I could see myself doing that, man. I, I definitely could. If bro. you if you could leave L.A. and stay in the United States, where would you move, or would you never leave L.A.? You think? You think you always stay here? Um. Yeah, but I definitely could see myself, you know, venturing off in the second half of my life, you know, like trying to do something else, man. I definitely could see myself. Where would you go? What other, what state do you like enough to move to? Man, I like New York. Yeah. Uh, I like Chicago. Oh, you can't go there. Yeah, I can't, but that downtown yeah. skyline and all that water. Beautiful. Trust me, I would live there yeah, if we could. It's so dope. I just don't want to get shot. Yeah, and me either, work. bro. You're right about that, too. Yeah. It's so dangerous out there. But I like Boston, you know. Boston's great. Yeah, I like Boston. Love Boston. Love Philly. Like Boston. I'm gonna say a random place too. I like Corpus Christi. Love Corpus Christi, Texas. Yeah, that's where Selena from. Is it really? <laughs> yeah, Selena from Corpus Christi. <laughs> Is she really? Yeah, yeah. Have you been down there? Yeah, I've been down there. I thought it was like just a little ghetto South Beach in Texas. Was, ghetto South Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it wasn't hilarious. like a big beach, but it was a small beach. Well, baby beach. It was, yeah. it was dope though. We just did a Florida run. We did Texas, and then we did Florida. And Florida's interesting, man. We we drove all through Florida and. It's one of those places where I couldn't pinpoint, but like every little town we went to, like mm -hmm. St. Petersburg, and I couldn't tell you what, like who lives there, but yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. shitload of people that do. But shitload of Trump supporters. Slay. Oh, we did see, we saw the Trump, <laughs> we saw the Trump, we, we left to go get coffee, and as we were leaving, there was a huge, a dude with like a walker and like a breathing machine with a big Trump flag standing on the corner. He was committed, bro. He no, was, I believe you, bro. He was committed, dude. He was committed. I know. I feel like if, as soon as I'm out there, I'm going to just hear, boy, where you going? Where you come from? Where the, you come from, boy? What's your name? What's your name? <laughs> but, you say Gator, they love it. A Gator? No, there you go. We do love Gators. Yeah, I, I like Florida, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I like, we had a good time. We, like had a, Florida, we had a fun time. Man. We had fun and we did. Uh, Jacksonville, St. Petersburg, Hollywood, Florida, which which is Fort Lauderdale, and then we went up to Orlando, and uh, Orlando is Orlando cool. Orlando's cool, but it's it's so tour it's tourist all tourist shit. That shit remind me of Reno. Reno, yeah, it does kind of feel like Reno. A little bit. Yeah, it does a little baby Vegas. <laughs> yeah. Vegas is little brother. Yeah, feels, I'm going to Vegas and in, in it's maybe like 12 Orlando's hours. like yeah, you want to feel like it's Miami, but it's not. It's not. Yeah, it's not Miami at all. Even Miami's not even Miami. I don't even know what Miami is anymore. I remember going to Miami when I was, we went down to Florida when I was in high school. And Miami was wild. It was like this. Yeah. Because yeah. I had seen, remember The Birdcage? You ever see the movie The Birdcage? Robin Williams, and Nathan Lane? I don't think you I've seen You know The Birdcage? Great film. I haven't seen that. I've seen The Birds, though. That movie's crazy. The Birds is also a great movie. attacking you? This is very different. <laughs> 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 this one's like the, it's this, the beautiful nightclub scene in Miami and, it's just like I remember seeing that as a kid, and the, it looked amazing. Dude, Scarface made went, you want to go to Miami. Yeah, Scarface made a lot of people want to go to Miami. <laughs> Woo! But that's not the same either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? It Scarface made a lot of people uh, think that they might be able to sell coke and get away with Man, it. Man, dude, Scarface for real. was very influential. That movie was crazy, bro. That's like a, I, I went to high school with this guy. He watched Scarface on loop. Like on loop at his house, he'd have the DVD like on loop because oh, he just yeah. thought it was the greatest movie of all time, and he sold coke. That's crazy. It was like his. It was like his. It was like his uh, hype. His hype for the day was watching Scarface, or we'd or he'd love Belly. You remember Belly? Oh, that was a good one with Nas and DMX. Yeah, that was a classic movie, right? What there. you? What do you think your favorite movie is of um, all time? What could you watch over and over and never get sick of? Goodfellas, Casino. Yeah, fact. Yeah, those um, are both great. What else? Uh, What's a sneaky movie that I, I that you don't that you usually don't tell people that you're like, you know what There I'm will like? be blood. There will be blood's a great movie. Great movie. I'm saying what's like a guilty pleasure? What's uh, one that's like American Psycho. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I just love the first open to see where they put it out all those American Express cards and they're trying to figure out who's gonna pay and they just all put the cards down. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. you see everybody watches and shit. <laughs> like that movie, I love that movie, bro. You like that movie? Yeah, American Psycho was crazy. Have you ever played that? What is it like? Uh, roulette, credit card roulette. No, nah, oh, so that's what they was playing. Credit there card we roulette. Go. Yeah, I never did. Yeah, that. you put your hat, you put the credit card in a hat, and you everyone for dinner, especially you know like business guys will do this because they're all they're on business. I mean, I don't know what business accounts are like anymore these yeah. days, but they'll they're all loaded. Yeah, yeah, yeah and they the got cash. money, so they'll shake it up. But also, that's a heavy bill. Sometimes that bill's a couple thousand dollars. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's, then whoever that's fucking I've, dope though. I played it twice. Those are the type of circles I'm trying to be in, bro. Yeah, those, <laughs> I don't know. I don't like it. I got nervous. I I want. I didn't get picked the two times I did it, but it scared me because the bill was so heavy. I did it one time in Vegas with a bunch of people, 
And I was so scared because the dinner was, it was for 15 people. And it was like booze and food and other people came over, right? And this guy was talking to that girl and was like, oh yeah, I got a drink. Da, da, da. I think the bill was three or $4,000. And I was like, please, God, don't pick my phone. No, I feel card. you. I feel you. I feel <laughs> please, you. Please, I don't want that. But that's that. that I got to experience that once in life. I'm, yeah, well, you do. Let's play that game. Bro. Let's, okay, we'll do it. We'll B -U -L -D go. D-U-L-D and Biddy. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it, man. I'm down. Let's bro. make sure one of their two cards get picked, though. Yeah. All right. I like to play that game with Bobby Lee, too. I want to see his excuse for not paying. No, no, he'll pay. He doesn't care. <laughs> nah, he'll nah. just throw his card down. Nah, I know Bobby Lee. He be spending that check, man. I remember when I see the most set. Uh, I was showing him some shoes, I think, and I think he had on the Golden Goose or some shit. He loves Golden Goose. Yeah, Golden Goose. Yeah, he loved the Golden Goose. Yeah, he, he loves spending a lot of money yeah, on I shoes. Yeah, I see that fly-ass Audi he got. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he he actually, we had, we both did a shout-out to the fan. We had a fan that brought us gifts. We have a lot of fans that bring us gifts, which is really, uh, it's so nice. Yeah, yeah that's And just one tight. dude brought him a brand new pair of Golden Goose shoes. A wow. fan. A fan. I was like, that's, I've never seen that before in my that's life. That's crazy. And get, both Bobby and I were like, what are you doing? I've never, wh like, why'd you do this? And he was like, I love you guys. I'm a big fan. And, and. I know you love these. He's like, I know you, you talk about them all the time. Yeah, that's dope. And he gave me a. Uh, a shaving a kit. speaker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave me a beard trimmer. No, he gave me a portable speaker from for the golf cart that had a magnet on it. It was really cool. It was very That's nice. That's dope, man. Very appreciative. What, have you gotten any fan gifts? Have you gotten any gifts from fans like yeah, that? Yeah, artwork. I love the artwork, bro. Art. Like, people would send me some crazy pieces. I didn't have somebody buy me some Nikes. Like, I, I, some few shit, but not no Golden Gooses and shit like that. That's, I mean, trust me, I don't get stuff like that. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's, 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 another, crazy. that's another level. But if you, let me say this. I bet you it'll be different if you go back out on tour and you start touring again. Like, do you ever want to do that? Yeah, definitely. I'll you do, do want to tour yeah, again. Yeah, I'll do it tomorrow. Matter of fact, UTA, what's up, man? Y'all supposed to be putting it together. Y'all seen that what's sold going out on, show. UTA? It was crazy, Get man. it together, man. Yeah, yeah it's going to happen, though, but for sure. If you do a tour and you play LA either to start the show, start the tour, end the tour, you got to let me come out and rap one song. Bro, I'm going to let you come out and do a whole set. I'll do a whole set. set bro. Okay, I'll tell you. No, no, no I want to rap, though. Oh, yeah. Come I on, I want bro. you to do stand up and me to rap. All right, I'm down like for that, that bro. So that's where we cross over and transition right that's to right, the near, bro. Right. Come on. In fact, we should have Gator come down with us to the to the Riverside show, and you That'll should open tight. up the show, actually. You know, what are you crazy. doing on Friday? You got anything going on? This Friday? I actually yeah. fly out this Friday. Come on. Where are you going? Atlanta for the basketball game. Oh, that's right. That's this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Well, win that money for me when you're down there. All right? Man, I'm me trying to, While bro. you're shaking people. Come on, Can you still bro. play? Are you practicing a lot? Yeah, I can still play, bro. Definitely. I just... Uh, you got a man. hoop out there at the house? Yeah, it's nice. I've been... You do? Yeah, I go to the little park communities, and I've been balling, bro. I've been trying to get shots up, but I'm just worried about, you know, conditioning. I've been on a treadmill running two or three miles every other day. So I'm trying to get back into shape, bro. Could I, you put down the vape, get back into shape? Yeah, I put down the vape, get back into shape. That's the plan, That's the bro. way to do it. Yeah. What position did you play when you did play in high school? Uh, shooting guard. That's right. Yeah, small forward, too. What was your favorite spot on the floor? Coming off the wing. Love, huh? Coming off the wing, you know, or just, either going through the wing, going through the baseline, coming around, getting the ball, and then driving inside or either shooting. Could you dunk? Could you yak? No, nah, I wasn't that type of player. No, shooter. Yeah, yeah, more Only of a shooter. shooter. Yeah, 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 yeah. But dunking and all that, that's cool. I can get up there, but it's a hard, uh, hard thing these it's days. Tough. What do you think about this kid, this uh, this young kid, when when Babea, whatever his name is, what's that young kid's name they just drafted? Oh, uh, seven footer. Yeah, I can't even think of his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's I've like, seen that. It's I've, like, been, I've been seeing a lot of the players, man. They're pretty dope, man. And way. Basketball has evolved. You know, these players, shit, they play just like the adults now, you know? I mean, you know, he's like, see, yeah, these kids are 16 years old. They look like grown men the way that they play. Yeah, like monsters. Their ba faces are babies, you yeah, know? Yeah, these kids are huge. Yeah, they bro. are monsters. Huge, bro. Yeah, Wembia, uh, what's his name? I, I can't I can't remember his name. I'm going to fuck it up. Anyway. LeBron's son Hart. heart. Yeah, 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 Bronny. Mikey Williams' heart. He just got to, you know, stay focused. Well, Bronny's interesting thing is why LeBron, I think, is going to stick around for a while is because he really wants to play with this kid. He yeah, really wants, yeah, yeah, he wants to be in the what, league. What a come. goal, man. Yeah, what that's a, crazy. Amazing bro. goal to be First able to. First father and son duo. <sighs> that's beautiful, right? Yeah. It's happened in other sports, but never in basketball, right? Mm -hmm, yeah, I think mm -hmm. never in the NBA. Unless I'm wrong. Look up, has there been a father son duo in the NBA that played together? In, in baseball, I remember Ken Griffey Jr. when he played with his dad. Oh, wow. That was unbelievable that's to watch. That's crazy. Five times it's happened. I can't think of any of them. Do you know any of the names? Uh, oh, the Hardaway. Yeah, the Hardaways. Um, the Played together? Played against one another? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Yeah, that can't be. No, that can't yeah. be. That gap is way too big. 
No. This has got to be one. This has got to be the first that played together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not even good at research. I don't, I don't even know what he's good at. He's my research guy. He's not even good at research. I, I'm not a sports guy. Like he's not a sports guy. Yeah, he doesn't like sports at all. <laughs> no, none, none of them ever played at the same time. Yeah. When you were talking birdcage, I was all in. Yeah, yeah, birdcage. Yeah, Once I do birdcage, oh, wow. my, 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 yeah, my, yeah. <laughs> my research kid is good. He loves stuff like birdcage. He's locked in on that. <laughs> Any movie with two cute gay guys, he's really locked oh, in. Yeah, but oh, otherwise, man. if it's sports stuff. You know, I'm really into stuff like the birdcage. Not really into exactly. basketball it's or football. That's crazy. That's <laughs> <laughs> funny. That's the feeling of the youth, man. He makes me feel old. He was mocking me the other day. He's 24. You remember we were like at 24? Yeah, I do, bro. What was the going on in your life at 24? Shit, girls, girls, girls. It was only girls, girls, yeah, girls. Yeah, that's all I was worried about. All day, you know, every day. Girls and just trying to get into a, you know, a situation to where I could be with a girl where I didn't have to be around moms. Or uh -huh. you know, it was crazy, bro. What's the what's the most expensive thing you ever bought a girl, or the dumbest thing you ever bought a girl? Mm. Did you ever buy a gift? You ever buy gifts for him? Yeah, probably buy like bags and shit like that. Purses. Yeah, but I don't think it's a stupid gift though. You know, but. I see, it, but you, could, it, you just bought them anyway. It's stupid when you buy a bag for a girl and you're not with her no more. Then That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, then it's hard. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> now, did you buy? Did you buy the real one or did you get the one on the slide from the street? Oh, I got the real one, bro. Because I ended up, you know, being in a position to where I can make some money, and then they knew my shit is real, so I got it. You don't have a choice. Yeah, ain't got they'll a call choice. you out. Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> I should end up on fucking Instagram or so. Yeah. Kata gave me a Kata fake Gucci bag. Me a fake Gucci bag. <laughs> Yeah. This isn't leather. Yeah. This is lamb. <laughs> you can't fool me, Gator. Yeah, that's funny. They'll try to get at you on Instagram. Yeah, I couldn't do the Canal Street. No, that's right. Yeah, we don't have one of those here, though. Well, I guess downtown. Do. Downtown. Yeah, downtown. Santee, yeah, yeah. downtown. Yeah, that's right. Santee Alley. Santee Alley, but that's not as big as Canal Street is like. Yeah, for it, LA it is big, though, but it's it not as big as Canal, Canal Street. Canal Street's though. like five blocks of just everything you've ever wanted fake. Everything. And a lot of it looks so good. Yeah, for, for real. For people that don't know in, in, uh, in New York. Canal Street is... Uh, fake it till you make it. That's the fake it till you make it avenue. And it's unbelievable the amount of stuff that you can find on that street. Like <sighs> everything you've ever dreamed of, they've got a fake version of it. And they got designer. a fake kidney, a fake lug out there. They got, yeah, the, no, they might have real lungs on Canal Street now. <laughs> I got a couple of ice chests. Like, what do you need, a lung, a spleen, a heart? Oh, shit. No, they, 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 uh, they do have the fakies. And I walked by last time I was in New York and I thought, what if I buy one of these? You think my girl will notice? Probably. Yeah, she wouldn't care anyway, though. Honestly, she's not like that. She doesn't, she doesn't care about like the Designer that kind of stuff. And well, it doesn't really materialistic and purses, shit. purses, stuff like that don't mean anything. To that's her. good, bro. Yeah, it doesn't. That's, that's it doesn't good, matter. man. That's real good. What was called last time I talked to you? By the way, speaking of stuff, buying stuff, you had just traded out your car and you bought a brand. Did you buy a brand new car? I got a cheap, yeah. You bought. I still a got that Benz though. Oh, you did. I didn't the first it. one that you bought, you yeah, bought a Mercedes. Benz. Yeah, yeah. I gave it to my mom and my sister, so they you got did? it. Yeah, yeah. Your heart is too big, man. Appreciate you, bro. You gave you gave that and then you bought a Jeep. Yeah, Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Yeah, it's just dope. Got the twenty sixes on it. It's pretty dope. Twenty sixes. Yeah, that's huge. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's so big. Yeah, that's just crazy. Do you love that Jeep? But I like though. your car. You got that foreign shit. Take it, take it. You yeah, can have it. I don't, want, I don't want it anymore. No, 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 no. They're fine. They're fun. Yeah. It's fun. I just bought a new car. Porsche. I'm, I bought a brand new car. Porsche. I'm never gonna. I'll tell you later. I'll tell oh, you what it is. It's man. a fancy little yeah, car. I gotta see it. I just bought a new toy, but I'm really proud of it. Yeah, I gotta see it. But bro. it doesn't come in for a little while. But, but I, I like you know what's you so funny. Mytrailer.com. Uh, no, 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 no. I bought it online. Yeah. I done that. Bring a trailer. Bring a yeah, trailer. Bring a trailer. Yeah. Yeah. I, I bought one time. Is that work? Yeah. It's oh dope. my god. Yeah. For people like that don't auction, know, we're right? like plugging it. But it's great because um, you can find if you if you like really specific rare cars. You know that you can't right, find right, anymore. Right. Like, and, and I'm not talking fancy. It can be any price range. Like, if you're someone who loved, like, you're like, I loved Saturns, and they don't make yeah. Saturns anymore, and you're like, I just love the, I loved it. It reminds me of, you can go find one on there in pretty good condition for a pretty good price, and it's yeah, surprising, man. That's dope. I had a buddy buy a Pontiac Sunfire on there. Ooh, I remember those. <laughs> yeah, they were cool. They were yeah. kind of fly. I knew a dude that also bought a Dodge Viper on there because they, those Ooh, things are hard to get your hands on. White blue one? It was red. I think they're remaking them now. Somebody told yeah, me. Are they remaking Viper Dodge so Vipers? so cold. Remember that white and blue one? Oh, it's delicious. Right. There was a, remember the All game right. Cruising USA, the video game? And oh, they had, yeah, they had yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Viper was always the, the dopest car to drive yeah. on cruise. They got a new one. Yeah, the reboot. Yeah, they got right? a new yeah, one coming. Yeah, Dodge Viper, they just redid it. Well, 2021, a couple years ago, they started making them. Oh, wow. Wow, well, maybe the Pandy stopped that down just a little bit. Maybe. Who knows? But no, yeah, I, I think uh I think you gotta 
you know, if reward yourself a little bit for the work sometimes. So I had you to get a who, bro. new little toy. You think I could get ice and get away with it? What if I wore a chain? Would I get away with it? Yeah, you can have a little one tuck, tucked under on chill. It's yeah, tuck for sure. I can't have it untucked. You can have it. It's up to you though, bro. You know, whatever floats your boat. Yeah, this is floating your boat for sure. That actually would sink a boat. That's probably heavy as shit. Man, I love jewelry, bro. Yeah. You do, huh? Ever since yeah. I met you, when I met you the first time and, and Dave introduced us, uh, do you remember the, the very first time I met you or no? When was the very first time you ever met me? Where was we at the table read? We was at the table read, yep. that's right. It was outside of the table read, that's <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, I remember. And I said, and I made a comment because you had on bracelets and I was uh, like, man, that's beautiful. Look at all that ice, that's beautiful. And the first thing you said, you go, I'm going to get more. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's, that's what you said hey, I'm gonna get more and I was turn. like good for you and you were like no I, I love it I, I want I want to get more real real bad and I said well do your thing yeah. and sure enough as we slowly grew you got more and more and more yeah I definitely did bro just good for you man it's putting what, the work it's in what you like and that watch is so shiny you man. brought that to set and I thought that was that's wild you also somebody iced out a uh, 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 what's the other one that you got that the black one that I've Which never one? seen diamonds on before. It's like a sport watch. It's like a... Oh, the G-Shock. The G-Shock. Yeah, yeah the you G-Shock have an iced, iced out G-Shock. Yeah, shout out for real, man. He I've never a, seen that before in my life. Great taste out maker. He was the first person I ever seen with it for real. And then once I seen him with it, I'm like, man, I want one of those. An one iced day. out G-Shock. And I finally got it. Because G-Shock, man, it's just an all-American watch, you know, that's the watch, the firefighters watch. Yep. That I wear, police officers wear. It's just a cool, cheap, classy, nice watch. And then I just want to ice it out because it's so sporty. And who, yeah. Pharrell did it first? I never Yeah, Pharrell did it. did it first, yeah. Did he? Yeah, then Kid Cudi did it after, I believe. But yeah, I had to do that, bro. That G-Shock is dope. Did you meet Cudi when we shot House Party? Did you get nah, to see I him? I didn't meet him, bro. Yeah. I didn't meet him, He's man. a cool dude. I met him before. I didn't see him that day, but he's one of those guys. There's a lot of rappers slash actors that have this crossover that are very talented. Yeah, Jack Harlow trying words. to do his thing too right now. Why I know. I saw, I saw Why Man Can't Jump. Yeah. That should have been me and you. That would have been crazy, Should have been me and you. Should have been Gator Santino. And then it could, and it could have been called, would have been called White Man Can Jump. Because uh, you know I can, you know I can get up, baby. You know, <laughs> bring the rim down, baby. Yeah, One time in high school, we got yelled at because we would, we'd jump up and hang on the rim. And back then, those were the rims that weren't like, the fancy breakaways today, we had one of those ones that was right. like, you know, it wasn't a breakaway. It it would it would bend, but you could tell like it wasn't supposed to. Yeah, Do you know you what I mean? Pop it back. Yeah, you had to snap it back in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you know, someone had to throw a ball and crack it back in. Yeah. And we would hang on it. We and all, the whole time, all we want to do, we were, we'd jump up and down with our weight to try to see if we could crack it. So the cause the backboard would crack. That's crazy. I always wanted to crack a backboard. Cracking them backboards. After I like saw Shaq. Shaq do that, when Shaq did it, remember that? That was bro. He would do that in a game Stop at thinking. LSU. He did it right. He did it when yeah. he was in college. I thought that was the wildest thing I'd ever seen. Was a guy pull a rim off of a fucking backboard. Yeah, Shaq, crazy, bro. For real. You Shaq. met him? Have you met him? Uh, yeah, I met him before outside of. Um, this hookah lounge. Where? So here random, in LA? Right? Yeah, I met him at a hookah lounge. Uh, what was it? Uh, forgot the name of it, but we used to always go to it. It's on the west side, Westwood. A hookah lounge? Oh, Habibi's, yeah. Habibi? Yeah, there Man, we go. Habibi. Habibi's the hookah lounge, yeah. Now you're still, now you're puffing now. What is this, an elf bar? No nicotine, though. No nicotine? Mm hmm So what's in these? This one is just the flavor. That's it. Just kiwi, passion, fruit, guava. But I got to get off of it, though. So wait a minute now. I, I, I'm so dumb. I never knew they made those no nicotine. Yeah, I didn't know either. But now it's, it's, it's easier to put down, you know, because it's not. You feel better without having without the nicotine in there? Yeah, less, less, less tension, less, you know. Less jumpy and everything? Mm -hmm. So they make it just the flavor. Wow. Did you know this? I feel like I never knew that. Can I see it real fast? Yeah, I'm not going to hit it, but. Yeah, yeah, that's the zero nicotine in that one. Wow. Okay, this is nuts. And these guys are making money on money on money. This, I wish, if I had a time machine. You know, the whole thing, like, Back to the Future is, like, you'd go back and what would you invest in? And a lot of people say, like... Oh, you oh, would have invested in vapes? <laughs> yeah, I would have, seriously. Because there's no way that cost them any money to make those things. How much does that cost to buy? Uh, About, like, $24. That vape right there is $20? Yeah, $24. I bet, 24, you, I, bet 24. You the, I bet you the plastic components itself plus the liquid inside, maybe a dollar max. Probably. And, that's a, and that's a lot. I'm over-predicting. I bet you it could be less. But they're making... You know, yeah, twenty dollars a head. Part though, all that. Even still, dude, I bet you those are cheap pieces. You go to probably, China, you can get that made for nothing. Most. I don't even think it's over a dollar. I, I'm telling you, dude, I bet you it's yeah, nothing. I, I, bet I you believe that. you. Because you go to China, you, you, those things are in such mass production. Yeah, that's the they make part. millions and millions of those things. That's why I got to stop. 
I know. Because it's gonna, it, you know, it's made fake somewhere in a basement in China. Yeah, bro. Little kids putting elf bars together. Crazy. That's when we up. have our break. They're like, now, <laughs> now. Okay, it's over. <laughs> Crazy. I said we, uh, we went and watched. Anytime you go see like a production line when you're on tour of people that work in a factory, like if you go take a tour of a place, you see the factory. You're like. It's, Unbelievable! Yeah, yeah, yeah. how hard these people! Imagine. It's crazy. Real life sweatshop. Yeah, no, no, no. Thanks, I'm good. No thanks on all that. G, um, you didn't gain a lot of weight, by the way. I know you said you gained weight, but you don't look like you gained any weight. We could still gain a couple more pounds. What are you saying? It's in the belly. In the belly, man. What do you think that is? What's what's just doing? eating, bro? I just be eating all the time, good man. Food. Loving eating, bro. I just ain't been having no breaks. I just been working and just eating, bro. Take a break. I need Gator to take a break. We need you to stay around because you need to take a little trip. In fact, you know what we should do? Me and Dave should go somewhere. That would be dope, bro. We should do just I'm a little, a little that, small bro. trip somewhere I'm close, down. not that far, maybe Mexico or something like that. I'm down, bro. You like Mexico? Yeah, as long as they don't kidnap me or shoot me, bro. We can go. <laughs> <laughs> I will say you're you're not you're very kidnappable. You're not shootable, but I, I get Steve wanting to steal you just to hang with you. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's the movie we should write. <laughs> we go to Mexico, you get kidnapped, but they just want to kick it with you. They don't want to hurt you. That would be so funny. They just bro. love Gata. They want you to just be a, just hang around. That would be and so funny. And they're like, sing too many women, sing too many women. Oh, that'd be crazy. That's the name of the song, right? Too many yeah, women. Too many women. Too many yeah. women. I got too Look many that women. Plug. That's Woo. right. Too many yeah. women. I got too many women. Man, that's always dope. So you're swimming in it, um, but yeah, maybe that'll be the movie that I'll write for us. I Come think on. I'll do a little little Gator Santino special. We'll get Dave to fund the whole thing. He owes us a little bit of cash. <laughs> a little bit of cash, don't you think? Just a tad. Um, G. I appreciate you coming on the show. Come on, bro. You my brother. I love you so much. Do you want to, it's good to catch up with you. Um, do you want to plug anything? Is there anything you want to tell the audience to, to look out for? This will come out a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, man. Look out for new concerts. Look out for me and Santino being the That's best right, of baby. friends. You know Woo! what I'm saying? We're going to be hanging out. But yeah, man, I appreciate all the love and support. Go watch that season three finale. If you haven't watched it, go watch the whole season two and one, man. Shout out Go Dave. back and watch it. Go back yeah. and rewatch it. Because also... Gator, I remember one time we were sitting in the basement. Uh -huh. and we were finishing up season two. And when I was in the, you know, when they dyed my hair and did all that. Remember that? When they oh, dyed yeah, my hair yeah, in the basement, yeah. when they yeah. when you cut your hand off. Yeah. And I remember you sitting down and I was in my chair. And you go, uh, you go, Santino, when do we get these residuals? When do we start getting residuals? <laughs> oh, man. And I said, uh, well, you can you could download the app and you can look on the app. Oh, yeah. You that? I check it every day. <laughs> you do every yeah, day? Yeah, check it every day, And bro. I said, Gator, you can download the app and it'll show you exactly when the money's coming in. <laughs> and you go, get the fuck out of here. I said, I swear <laughs> to God. And you and I took your phone. I said, just download the app and it'll show you when the residuals are coming in. And after that, I I, I saw you so often. <laughs> I see you flick it, checking it. Bro, I still check it all the time, you do? bro. Hell yeah. That was free game you gave Free me. game. I said, free Gator, game. You, I said, they let you know. I never really check. I don't. It's so funny. I don't even check. I don't ever check to see it. But now that I gave you that love, I thought, well, I can't believe I don't even do it. I never you gotta do it. You got to tap in. Yeah, I Just know. like y'all need to go tap in and watch Cheeseburger if you have it on go Netflix. Go watch Cheeseburger on Netflix. Let's Gator, you go. plug me. I plug you. I love this about you, brother. Look out for concerts for Gator coming up. He's going to be playing more shows. And I only hope that that album comes out soon. Man, let's go. And then go. you can start touring again. And if you ever do a tour in LA, you got to take me. You know that. Oh, yeah. You got to sure, take bro. me. Uh, we end the show the same way. Uh, with one word or one phrase, uh, you look into that camera right there and you mm -hmm. say one word or one phrase whenever you're ready, Gata, go ahead and do it. Grinding every day. Boom! Boom. Uh, however you come, just come. There we go. In here, we pour whisk, 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 whisk. You were that creature in the ginger beard. Sturdy and ginger. Like vampires, the ginger gene is a curse. Gingers are beautiful. You owe me $5 for the whiskey and $75 for the horse. Gingers are oh, hell no. This whiskey is excellent. Ginger. I like gingers.